Breaking, Rex Tillerson says that the U.S. has lines of communication open with North Korea. Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of Fox News Politics, and it says that Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Saturday during a visit to China that the U.S. is probing North Korea for talks and that the two countries have communications with Pyongyang. Tillerson said that the U.S. has contacted the Hermit Kingdom to see if they're interested in talks, and the two countries have lines of communication open with North Korea. Uh, Rex Tillerson said, quote, We are probing, so stay tuned when talking to reporters in China. When asked on how the two countries probed, Tillerson said that they would ask directly, directly to North Korea, folks. Rex Tillerson said, quote, We ask, would you like to talk? We have lines of communication open with Pyongyang. We're not in a dark situation, a blackout. We have a couple of channels open with North Korea. We can talk to them. We do talk to them, Rex Tillerson said. Tillerson told reporters that the U.S. government and the North Korean government have direct communication with one another over its nuclear and missile test. When reporters asked if the U.S. worked with China to communicate with North Korea, Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State, said that the U.S. has direct access, direct access to North Korea, folks. He said, quote, directly through our own channels, through the own U.S. channels, folks. Tillerson did not go into detail about what type of communication the U.S. has with Pyongyang and if the isolated country has responded. But it goes on to say that Tillerson called the tension between U.S. and North Korea and the threats President Trump and Kim Jong-un have traded in the past few days a bit overheated right now, according to the New York Times. And he went on to say, quote, if North Korea would stop firing its missiles, that would calm things down a lot. So that is what's going on right now, folks. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is saying that there's lines of communication open between North Korea and the United States without any middlemen, which would mean China. Okay, they're basically he's saying we don't need China to communicate with North Korea. We can communicate directly. Okay. And I think that's um, what Rex Tillerson said is very true. If North Korea just stops firing these damn missiles, maybe we can sit down and come to a, an agreement, a negotiation. And that way, all of this tension can, you know, can simmer down. And that way, we can make something happen between the United States and North Korea and between the two Koreas themselves. Okay, something could happen if only Kim Jong-un would stop firing his missiles or supposed missiles. Okay, so that's what's going on right now, folks. This is just developing. So who knows what could happen in the next few weeks. We don't know if Kim Jong-un is just going to go crazy again and start shooting off missiles and then pissing off President Trump, which in return, President Trump will say, you know what, we're not going to be putting up with your crap. Okay. Right now, North Korea is in a very, very tight situation. Not only are they getting sanctioned, uh, China is starting to slap them around and saying, you know what, we're going to take away uh, the ability for you to bring out loans from our banks, uh, for our banks to work with you. Uh, we're going to sanction you. Uh, we're going to make sure that we follow UN protocol and, you know, sanction um, requirements and all this stuff. So a lot of countries are really starting to tighten up you know, how they say the noose around uh, around North Korea, because, you know, Kim Jong-un has to understand that it, without China, North Korea is absolutely nothing. OK, and Russia is also starting to get on board. So, you know, the, you know, North Korea and Kim Jong-un is really starting to feel the pressure. So they might have to start talking soon. OK, and as you guys can see on your screen, that is, uh, you know, Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State, and he was on the border with uh, North Korea and South Korea. And as you guys can see, there's a uh, North Korean soldier right behind him uh, looking in, 
taking pictures through the window. And, uh, and this is in the demilitarized zone between North Korea and South. So um, a lot of stuff is going on in that area. President Trump is set to, to, to go on a trip in Asia, all over Asia. He's going to the Philippines. He's going to China. He's going to a bunch of other countries in Asia for a 12-day trip. And they're going to be talking about North Korea on most of those uh, negotiations and speeches. So a lot of pressure is going to be put on North Korea. The world is going to be looking at Asia for the next 12 days when President Trump is going all over Asia to talk about um, trade, to talk about uh, negotiations, and to talk about North Korea and the threats that it poses uh, setting off all these missiles. So stay tuned for that. We will be streaming everything here live at Golden State Times when President Trump goes to Asia and uh, especially to China. So make sure that you guys stay here at Golden State Times. President Trump is also set to go to the Philippines and meet with the Filipino president for the very first time. And um, a lot of people are talking about it. So stay tuned for that, too. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. We're going to be uploading a few news articles on our website. So stay tuned for that. It's at goldenstatetimes.com slash news. Again, that's goldenstatetimes.com slash news. So make sure you guys go and check it out. Everything that we don't cover here on the channel, we cover it on the website because YouTube is demonetizing and causing all kinds of trouble. So whatever we don't cover here, we're covering it on our website. And whatever we don't cover on our website, we cover here. So that way, you guys are completely up to date on what's going on, you know, with politics and breaking news and all that stuff. So make sure you guys stay here at Golden State Times for all of your news, politics, and everything in between. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.